you watched the 2009 acclaimed series Prison Break or the timeless classic Shawshank Redemption, The Great Escape, The Fugitive, can you guess what all these remarkable films and series have in common? Well, all these are based on the same theme, breaking out of prison. But have you ever wondered if some of these thrilling stories could have been based on some concrete historical incidents? Today, we will be diving into one of the most thrilling and intense stories from America's penal history, The Battle of Alcatraz infamously referred to as the most violent escape attempt in the prison's history. Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary, notoriously known as The Rock, is an escape-proof fortress surrounded by the chilling waters of San Francisco Bay. This maximum security prison had incarcerated some of the most dangerous criminals of its time. But in May 1946, it became the stage for an escape attempt so bold that it escalated into a violent confrontation that's etched in history. But what drove these men to such extremes? Who were the masterminds behind this daring escape attempt? What exactly went so horribly wrong? But before we dive into today's video, take a moment to click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on our upcoming videos. The Battle of Alcatraz, a dramatic and violent prison break attempt that unfolded over May 2nd to 4th, 1946, turned Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary, known by horrible names like America's Devil's Island, Helcatraz, or simply The Rock, into a battleground. This unprecedented escape attempt saw armed inmates clash with guards, resulting in the deaths of two guards and three inmates. An additional 14 officers and one inmate not involved in the escape were injured, and two inmates were later executed for their roles in the uprising. Alcatraz's reputation and its notable inmates. Located on an isolated island in San Francisco Bay, Alcatraz operated from 1934 to 1963 and became legendary for its high-profile inmates, including Capone and the Birdman Robert Stroud. Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary wasn't just the first supermax prison in America. It was a product of the notorious 1930s crime wave. The prison's unique location, surrounded by icy waters and strong currents, contributed to its reputation as an inescapable fortress, a daunting challenge for even the most determined prisoners considering the treacherous swim to freedom. Main convicts. The escape attempt was masterminded by Bernard Coy, alongside Marvin Hubbard, Joseph Kretzer, and Clarence Carnes, with Sam Shockley and Miran Thompson joining later. Coy, a bank robber who moved to Alcatraz in 1938, discovered a flaw in the prison's security and a way to break into the prison's gun gallery. He had the job of cell house orderly in the prison, which gave him a relative amount of freedom of movement, eventually aiding him in his escape. Hubbard had a long history of criminal activities and attempts to violently break out of prison. Kretzer was known for his significant bank heists, while Carnes was serving a sentence for a murder committed during a robbery. Events and the standoff. On May 2, 1946, the plan was set in motion. Coy and Hubbard attacked and overpowered Officer William Miller, releasing Kretzer and Carnes. Coy managed to pry open bars to enter the gun gallery, arming himself and his accomplices. They hoped to escape by taking guards hostage and using them to negotiate their way to freedom. However, the escape plan fell apart when they couldn't find the key to the yard door, trapping them inside the cell house. The inmates decided to fight it out. Kretzer, in a desperate move, opened fire on the captive officers leading to Miller's death. A Sieg followed, with Brisson officials cutting power and calling for military assistance as the convicts held off rescue attempts from their fortified position, the Marines' intervention. The standoff escalated when Marines were deployed to the island. Two groups of seasoned Marines, veterans of World War II Pacific battles, were called in by the warden to assist the guards in reclaiming control over the prison from the inmates. Drawing on their wartime experiences of overcoming enemy fortifications in the Pacific, the Marines employed heavy firepower, including machine guns and grenades, to dislodge the inmates from their stronghold. The following day, the Marines unleashed a relentless barrage of gunfire into the remaining occupied areas, a bombardment that continued for over nine hours. By the next morning, after a series of forceful entries into the last stronghold, the officers finally neutralized the last of the resisting inmates, including the plot's mastermind, Coy, along with Kretzer and Hubbard, eventually killing them on the spot. The aftermath saw Moran Thompson and Sam Shockley executed for their roles, based on multiple testimonies of his abstention from killing the guards who were taken hostage Carnes was spared from execution to death. However, he did receive an additional life sentence 
and later died due to his AIDS complications, while prison guard William A. Miller died of his injuries the following day in the cell. Prison guard Harold P. Stites was shot and killed during the rescue attempt. Apart from these, two 14 other guards were injured in the clash. Multiple films, including Brute Force, 1947, Birdman of Alcatraz, 1962, Alcatraz, The Whole Shocking Story, 1980, Six Against the Rock, 1987, and Alcatraz, 2018, have adapted different versions of this bloody event. The Battle of Alcatraz has left an indelible mark on the prison's history, highlighting the lengths to which inmates would go to escape and the extreme measures taken by authorities to maintain control. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and let us know your favorite films based on prison breaks and what you find intriguing about them. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get insights on issues that matter.